Hey guys, how's it going? You know me, Thomas Gaffney. I'm here with the RDX domain, uh, XRD domain team from RDX, uh, the Radix platform, XRD network. It's gonna be really cool. You guys are one of the Radix grant winners. I've been looking forward to talking to you guys for some time. Uh, why don't you just introduce yourselves and uh, tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, I'm James Wiley, uh, known as Wiley in the community. We've known each other a while now. Yeah, we have. Um, so I'm the founder of XRD Domains and one of the co-founder of the Radix Name Service. Um, yeah, so it's a pleasure to be a consensus. I would have thank it. I love it. It's good, to, it's good to see you guys. It's good to meet you finally in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first time we met, you basically ransacked the bar. I ransacked the bar, <laughs> yeah. We came in, we're like, let's go. <laughs> that was last night at the pizza place. Yeah, it's awesome, man. That was cool. Awesome, uh, and I'm Faraz, so I'm the community lead for uh, XRD Domains. Awesome. Uh, yeah, happy to be here at uh, Consensus and uh, representing Radix as well. And stuff. It's really cool, so XRD Domains, is that, is that something you're gonna be able to host like a website on, or is it just redirected? How does that work? Yeah, so at the moment we've got um, uh, the Chrome extension. Okay. Um, it's not been published yet, but it's, it's almost there. We're doing some UI things on it. Um, but that'll actually redirect. So from a, a browser perspective, it's quite difficult. Okay. Um, you pretty much need to be integrated into a web free browser. Wow. But we kind of we're, we're patching it with a Chrome extension, but that's complete. So. Sure. Yeah, but you can use it for payments, etc. We're not advising the, that people use it, um, the Olympia version. Oh, okay. For, for payments, obviously, because it's centralized. Exactly. It's at your own risk. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, at Babylon, we're hoping that uh, you know to, to come here and at the gates. Beam is pretty much written. Oh, all Beam. Of the, uh, all yeah. The, the, the decentralized. Is part. he on the project too? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. he is. Yeah, because I know he's on Radlog. It's so yeah, sure. Yeah. He's a he's an RNS founder as well. Oh, okay. As well, yeah. so, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. We, we've we've got the best the best. Yeah, you do is the best. <laughs> I, I did I interviewed Beam a while ago, uh, for Radlock. Um, he's genius. That yeah, guy's yeah, real yeah. smart. Yeah, he yeah, really right knows on. his stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. I, I, I love it. There's anyone on the planet that knows more about scripts? Yeah, I, I think you're well. probably right. So, yeah, we're, we're glad to have it. We're going to hold on to it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real asset to the team. Tell us a little about yourself, how you got into Web3. Okay, cool. So, um, well, I discovered crypto in about 2014. Okay, um, cool. So, I'm not so OG. Kind of. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. kind of. Uh, not relative to others, but um, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually a mechanical engineer. Oh, awesome. Trade, so a wow. very different industry for me to get involved sure. in. Sure. Just had a, a natural interest in how things work. So I delved down the crypto rabbit hole in 2014, with awesome. the first Bitcoin. Yep, yep. Uh, things kind of progressed from there. So in um, 2017, uh, I was mining uh, mining Ethereum. Um, got fed up with the you know the high transaction fees. Yeah. And, you know just the the fact that it couldn't scale. And I thought you know someone's got to be building a more future proof solution, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Um, and that's where I discovered Radix in 2018. Um, been in the community ever since. Uh, became a validator. Uh, so been validate, validating on mainnet since um, 2021. And uh, yeah, just. Um, yeah, can't believe that it's kind of grown from there. So yeah. I met Wiley through validating and uh, cool. we're both so. both yeah, yeah, of so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And uh, Wiley was kind enough to um, you know chat to me about uh, this new project, XRD Domains. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Sort of, uh, yeah, couldn't resist. It's glad to have you part of the community. It's awesome. It's really Absolutely. cool. Like. Uh, Wiley's an OG down in the Radix world too, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I took part in the token sale. Were you around? I was not. No, I came in uh, a couple months afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I pretty. I don't know how I come across it. Must have been like on some Reddit post thing. Yeah. I was like into big on IO at the time. Oh, okay. Like, it was a complete mess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, somebody mentioned something, uh, something else that was scalable, and uh, just thought I'd take a look into this. It just blew my mind, like you know. Just had a, it was a big list of this is too good to be true. I it's know, right? It, but, yeah. And I was like, oh, token sale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna you can get it into that. Get into that, and then the community started exploding. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know. so it's just kind of just been popping off. I mean, honestly, it's it's crazy. Like even in the bear market, there was like a lull there around like August, September, October where it was like, oh man, it's kind of tough. Yeah. And then the November fall off, but then when RadFi came back around, it exploded, Absolutely. came roaring back, and it's been slowly kind of on an upward trend, in my yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah. in terms of the engagement, what people are doing, yeah, yeah. things are building, and then the Radix grant program that yeah, got yeah. released, yeah. and so it's cool. I think yeah. things are just starting to convert. I mean, there's been like a, a process of just nailing the, the tech, they're yeah. building away, and it's starting to convert now, you know? Yeah. Uh, I keep saying to people at the, the conference, and. Yeah. Like the penny started to drop. You know? yeah. Yes. The cat's out of the bag now. Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah. Radix, Radix yeah. is getting too big to 
to ignore now. Right? Yeah, it is. Like the, the pump has helped no end. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great like, that's the best Great kind timing. of publicity. Yes, yeah. on people's radar, and people want to learn more about it. And uh -huh. As soon as people just take a look, a closer look at Radix, yeah, everybody has the same kind of impression. You know, yeah, it's very, it's very revolutionary. It's very different to anything else out there. Exactly. Yeah, it's just natural, you know. It's a guy that came around the other day, uh, earlier on today. Yeah. And he's like, oh, so what's Radix? I said a layer one. A layer one. And he's like, that's huge. And I was like, you need a seat. You need a seat. It's a load more features. We can yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's what. That's the cool thing is that, like, there's so many layer ones around now. Yeah. But it's like, Radix was like, it's, it was kind of new but old. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, now yeah. it's almost like, on the edge. Now that we're getting ready to have contracts, there's all these other layer ones that are way behind. Yeah, yeah. You know, or they're using antiquated technology that just doesn't even work anymore. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. People are trying to sort of, um, you know, bolt on solutions to problems that they're only just discovering now. Exactly. You know, whereas Radix has just taken that step back and gone, right, what do we need at mm -hmm. the sort of ground level? Let's build it from the ground up to cater yeah. for all these issues. So, you know, like account abstraction is becoming really a big feature now on Ethereum. Oh, to yes. And, yeah. To try and bolt that on now is such a difficult thing to achieve, you know? Yeah, it's and crazy. It's and Radix like... just has a lot of these features native yeah. already, you know? Awesome. We were it speaking cool. to Rock, man, and uh, we keep trying to come up with an analogy because everyone's like, is it EVM compatible? Is it EVM like? Yeah, everyone wants to know. And uh, we pretty much come up with this analogy that when uh, cars first came around, yeah. people uh, were a bit skeptical. Yeah. And they had to wave, like, literally walk next to the car and wave the flag. Yeah. Anyway, so the analogy is like the Ethereum community pretty much trying to uh, tow a car with uh, horses, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's easy? pretty good. Is That's the EVM way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I might just steal that one, actually. Yeah. To a hard car with horses. But actually, it puts a new name to horsepower. Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool, but uh, what, what, what kind of like, what made you guys think that XRD domains needed to be made? Well, the fact they were already being used. Oh, good. Twitter, you know, like, yeah. Uh, it's just it's, it just ties into the whole uh, user you know experience. Uh -huh. like, nobody wants to remember like the sixty character address. Like, do you know yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do know Thomas that XRD. Right? I do. Uh, here we are, mate. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. So that's pretty much the, the idea. But we wanted to go further. Sure. So we've got like an, expand uh, that on that a little bit so people understand. Yeah. So we've got like a trust network that we're okay. building on it. So uh, that one one issue that I kind of. Uh, observe with Ethereum, the, the, the ENS, Ethereum name series, is just kind of a free for all. And even though you've got a decent mapping, yeah. you don't know what's going on behind the scene with mapping. Like if it, somebody got kind of, if somebody got hacked, yeah. they could easily change the mapping, intercept the funds, etc. And steal it. So yeah, yeah you okay. know, they, it does need a trust layer. So yeah. uh, that's kind of where we're going. Okay, cool. And how does that work? Like what? So say an average user, Joe Schmo .xrd. Yeah, How does yeah. that process work? What does it look like at the end game? Is it just making a website? So you, your wallet's connected to it, obviously. So how does that work? Can you explain that process real quick? In terms of the trust network? Well, kind of like, I don't know anything. Okay. I want to set up a XRD domain okay, cool. as tgav.xrd. Okay. Walk me through how that works. What is the benefits? Why are we doing this? Okay. Et so I guess um, it's, at its core level, it's just for your identity, right? Okay. So you'd be able to go onto our platform, okay. uh, purchase a domain, and assign that to a Radix address. All right. So in its simplest form, it just means that anyone you want to interact with, you can just provide them with your domain name. Mm -hmm. So you can say, hey, pay me at tgaf.xrd. Okay. And anything that's integrated with the domain service, whether that's a wallet or sure. uh, um, some other sort of interface on the network, it can automatically resolve tgaf.xrd. Wow, to your wow. Radix address. Right. That's awesome. So you can, it's almost like a hashtag for like say Venmo or something? Exactly, yeah. Oh, Look, wow. The possibilities are endless, right? Because okay. you can assign any number of records to yeah. that domain name. So sure. say you want to assign your Twitter handle yeah. or uh, a Web2 address. Yeah. You can now just provide a simple tgaf.xrd yeah. to anybody. Um, they can put that into a browser. Mm -hmm. They use our browser extension. It can Man. resolve to your personal address. Your That's really handle. cool. Yeah. And so like you can like basically say an NFT project yeah. wants to launch, right? Yeah. Like. Uh, um, turtle fund, you yeah. know what I mean? And they just do turtle fund at XRD, and that's their website. Yeah. Yeah. And they log on to the Radix wallet. Could they potentially yeah. buy NFTs by using turtle fund? Yeah. Like, you send it Absolutely, to that address yeah. and they would send it back? Absolutely. I mean, oh, you, wow. you, bring, you bring a good point actually about community projects. So, sure. uh, let's, say, um, let's say the buffs, right? Yeah. So you've got buff.xrd as a okay. domain. Yeah. You've got a nice community of followers around the Buff project. Absolutely. So what if you could create your own subdomains? Okay. Let's say um, Thomas.buff.xrd. Yeah. Okay. Right? 
With our resolver, you don't even need the .xrd suffix anymore. Oh, really? So you can identify yourself as Thomas Thomas Buff. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, That's you, cool. Yeah, and everybody yeah. in your community can do the same. And you're okay. now effectively issuing your own domains to your own community. Wow. And that's you own really cool. 100 of the proceeds as well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's really cool. So how does it, how is this thing funded? Is it like a non-profit? Like what, how does that work with you guys? So that we've got a foundation. Okay. In the UK, which basically is a like for like setup with the ENS. Yeah. Uh, called the RNS Foundation. Okay. And then we're a set, XRD domains is a separate um, uh, entity. Okay. Uh, basically, we're the developers of the RNS. Yeah. Um, in terms of funding, I'm funding the lot. So. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, well, thank you for that. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, man. But you're still pitching some investors and stuff? That'll be cool? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, we're not stupid. If yeah, somebody yeah. wants to throw money at us, we'll take it. <laughs> always, always <laughs> take some money. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take a check. Why not? Sign me up. Cool. Yeah. So what is you guys, uh, what's the most excited thing, like, outside of, like, Babylon for Web3 that you guys are excited about, just kind of in general? Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, well, I think it's the migration of Web2 to Web3. Um, okay. You know, if we get once we get around the regs and all this regulation, regulatory things, I think there's a lot of uh, speculation with Web3. So, like, you know, my parents, for example, yeah, they, you mentioned crypto. They literally just, they, they you know, pretty yeah. much a it's good to, uh, magic beans. Yeah, don't yeah. mention it. It's a scam. <laughs> And yeah. it's not, it's actually safer yeah. than Web2 because yeah. it's more transparent, mm -hmm. you know, you, it's, it's got, it's way more robust. Uh, for developers, it's way easier to, to you know, um, publish a DAP, for example, because the back end's taken care of. It's, yeah. That whole layer is, is pretty much been set up, you know. Cool. So, um, now there's a lot of opportunities and I think maybe a few bad actors in the space have given the whole space a bad name. And I'm Happens. really ex excited. You know things like Radix. Yeah. They're making things user friendly, so yeah. they'll bring. They'll be a migration of users from Web 2, kind of. You know, maybe accidentally. Yeah. yeah. Um, Could be. And they'll actually realize. Oh, you know what? It's not as bad as I initially thought. And yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, well, yeah. For me, for me, it's um, I'd say equitable uh, access to opportunities. Right? Okay. So in the same way that sort of. Um, Uber, yeah. you know, in Web 2, Uber killed the taxi, the black cab. Right? Killed it, yeah. So I think in Web 3, individuals are going to kill Uber, right? Okay. Because everybody sure. can, yeah. everybody can uh, take control of their own destiny and have the same opportunities as, as everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like the Wild West out here. Absolutely, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with, yeah. You know, with the composability as well, okay. you know, you'll be able to... Um, to what does that even like, mean, composability? So imagine it like Lego bricks. Okay. You know? So if I want to interact with... Uh, an application in here, in here, I can tie that into another application over there, and everything kind okay. of interconnects seamlessly. Interacts together. seamlessly, and and more efficiently. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. And Radix is ideal for that. You know, the way yeah. Radix is built just lends itself naturally to composabilities. Uh, Hundred percent. I, I love that. And that's one thing I'm really excited about is just like the kind of like onboarding and the actual transition from Web 2 to Web yeah, 3. Absolutely. One thing that Piers always says that I really like is that he wants people to be using Radix without even realize they're using yeah. Radix. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. And so that's just something that resonated me with so well. It's like when you're on Chrome, you're not like, I'm using Google Chrome to search up the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it browser you use Chrome. Yeah, okay, cool. And then you're on there going to Netflix, going to all the different things, going to xrddomains.com, you know, <laughs> or whatever it is. And uh, but yeah, it's cool. It's really, it's really awesome. So um, I'm glad that you guys are in this space. Uh, you guys have been great. It's been really cool learning about more about it. I did not know that you could with like the almost like handle thing that's going to be used. That blows my mind. That's yeah, yeah. really so cool. We gotta get you guys on to this. Hey, thanks so much for doing this with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You guys are rock stars. I'm yeah. learning. Every time I talk to someone, I learn something new, especially about their project. And plus, it is so nice to be a face to all these names that, Absolutely, you've seen, man. that we've been interacting with. And so like, thanks for doing this. Thanks for working. I really appreciate the stuff. Yeah, thank you, you guys very are much. Great. Thanks for having us. Yeah. You have anything else you want to say? Leave us with something cool? Buffon baby. Buffon babies. <laughs> ah, Buffon babies. Yeah, let's get it. Good stuff, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, cheers, awesome. cheers, cheers. That was great. That was yeah, great.